Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play We Happy Few. I'm here with Spring at Dawn, and this is the uh, hatch I went into at the end of the last episode. There's a memory in here, so I figured I'd show that. Then we'll head to towards uh, Miss Bing's place. You could have killed someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they? I wonder what his beef with Uncle Jack is, other than, you know, rubber cat suit. Putting argument. I had to check the uh, table some blueprints in here. What you got? No questions asked. So oh, that's the one I want. What do I need for that? Your cleaver doesn't sound too bad either. I need a cleaver, of course. So I need another metal tube and an axe. Okay. It's not too complicated. I could do right? this in the dark. I think I have. Alright, so let's head towards uh, Miss Bing's estate. I should probably fast travel up north of it, can't I? Yeah, he doesn't have a lot going on here. Uh, the, I do have the mysterious ch uh, chest quest here, but again, we know that doesn't have a resolution. So let's just uh, special hope here. If you don't know where you're going, give us a little bit of time. Trouble getting there, man. So Ollie takes a little while to run from place to place. I take the low road, I take the high road. I'm carrying quite a bit of stuff. Well, I can get rid of some of this almost broken stuff. The bobby truncheons I can I'll just put in here. No need to keep hold of those. Um, he's good at throwing stuff, so I'll keep it the throwing weapons. We'll get rid of the rotten stuff real quick. Uh, Rotten apples, rotting meat, rotten potatoes. Crafting components there. Though keeping some. Do I even have any power cells? Probably not. Yeah, it doesn't look that way. Alright. So again, I don't think this story's gonna be very long because he only has the, uh, the five or six fast travel points. It's not very much. At the very least, he won't be running around everywhere, which is also nice because he doesn't run very fast. Stupid walls and rocks. A lot of, uh, a lot of running. Could have taken them. But they didn't have to, did they? Am I? We brought them all to the state. I still want to know, because if his daughter died because of the Germans, or surrendering to the Germans, did the Germans kill all the children that they took? Oh, someone tells me... He's trying to get the truth out. He's going to end up going to the, uh, the tower. And probably confronting Uncle Jack and then uh, telling everybody through Uncle Jack's television show what happened. At least that's what I think is going to happen. <laughs> Alright, grab all the healing. Healing stuff. I feel like we're getting into a lot of fights with Ollie. A lot of fights. It doesn't look like he has any side quests. Now, granted, I haven't explored everywhere, of course. I will off camera. But, uh. Hmm. 
they even let me through. Ollie Starkey! <laughs> I hear your house fell down! <laughs> let me guess. A bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I may need less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open the gate for once? I could, but I won't. There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree. A malevolence at the Marlis Pomila, so to speak. Someone died last night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Hmm. What an articulate fellow. Alright, and we are going to the apple tree, which I... Discovered earlier. Uh, come on, Ollie. Best start running. I am going to swing past this real quick to clear that up off the island. Because that's bothering me. I was wondering why the apple tree didn't have the, uh, the bobbies around it. Because in the other two stories, or at least in Arthur's, it did. I don't think I ever saw the apple tree in Sally's story. Sorry if the running around isn't too exciting, but um, it's got to be done, and I don't know if I have time to edit, so we're just gonna go grab these real quick and then keep running. You never know, I might find a side quest or something on the way. Let's clear, so now I have a straight run towards it. I'm gonna clear out this little area too. On my way there. Mostly cleared out. Let's go uh, meet my waypoint in these sunflowers. All right, grab these and then get over to. Yeah, let's see. Even with the uh, the perk, the uh, increased movement and speed and distance. Time, yeah, I want to know what Jack is and why Ali hates him so much. I mean, outside of you know his awful TV show. Oh. Yeah, I need to actually check here. I didn't see the uh, dead bobbies. Yep, they're dead. Let's file a report. You won't get past the bobby without details. Who killed them? And how and why? Fine! I was just trying to protect your delicate sensibilities. I am dead, Ollie. The gate's now locked. But someone brought a chain and his own lock. Someone locked them in. a sad end to a beautiful life. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree. She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie, we not hear about a murdered tree. It's not the blights killed her. It's something else. It smells like mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many cheery ones. There's how. We just need the why and the who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead say to leave no stone unturned. Really? Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone or stone called Bobby. This is our dead tree now. Fuck off! A tad bit territorial, aren't we? There's the one who's done it! You're not my neighbor! You're being beat! That's right. 
talking about V meat because Ollie had V meat in the uh, in Arthur store, and that's why these guys were attacking his train station. Oh, I did it, Ken. If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. Uh, there's a cleaver, so I start making. Just I can make a uh, through. Whatever that cleaver's called, the eager cleaver. There we go. An apple. That's always nice. Is this shovel in better condition what? than my other one. As if so, I think I'm gonna use it. Yeah, get out of here. Well, that cleaver's in no condition. What about that shovel? Fertilizer, not the murder weapon. It happened at night, but they're not wearing their gas masks. Why would they cast them off? This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. Cryptic note. We'll pick that up in a second. Let's finish pick up these, uh... Well, I didn't want to pick up the rotten ones, but we're already there. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Hmm? What that? Is that all it says? Yeah, that's all it says. Alright. Let's drop... I know. Uh, should have picked up the first place, but I oh, want rotten stuff in my inventory. Hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious. No, oh, let's say still standing here. Don't care for the lead pipe. Oh, do I actually need to examine the gas masks? There's one out here as well. This one protect you against the ferret's fart. Buggered again. Do I know the solution? Hmm. Well, let's go talk to him about it. So he'll let me through the gate. So it's nighttime as well, so the plagueies are gonna start coming out. There are a lot of plagueies in Ollie's store. And just a ton of them. Can't get fresh veg? Remember, lots of weeds could taste in this tea. Scurvy grass is named for stopping. 40 milligrams of vitamin D. Right even in that cellar. Just not worried about that. Well, Grim, oh, great. Uh, hold on a second, I have a weapon equipped. Um, Dig. Oh, there we go. I just want to go here and grab these bad boys because he can use those in Ollie's grog, which cures everything. So, wouldn't mind having some of that. More of it. I only have two of it. Which might end up being enough. I don't. I haven't really caught plague in a, in a while. Yeah, run straight through, thanks to... Oh wait, I have 10 points. Let's, um... Fancier loot, and I'll just get really healthy. I really want this. Let's keep up. Let's see if we level up after this quest. Or get more points.
Have you got some answers for me? It appears your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with... The masks were tampered with. But who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack! Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget to pop a joy before you hit the revolver. Foggy Jack. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's Jack from the television. No one knows where he went. They've been showing reruns of Jack, right? And he used to say, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time in the show if you listen to the broadcasts that run past him. You're looking snappy today, sir. I'd like to meet you, Taylor. I mean, I don't have any joy, right? Get yourself back to the garden, you freak! Right! What? What's that for you? Stop! 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 Good. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Alright, gotta do a couple of things here. Alright, what's going on with me? Hold on a second. What's all? Yeah, I'm obviously seriously hurt, so let's, um. Zach, can I eat something? Or did I overdose some joy? I think I overdosed some joy already. That's why I'm the way that I am. Alright, joy poisoning. So I can just take that. How do I get through? So he can't take joy. He has zero tolerance to joy, which is good. I'm sorry that I ever gave him joy. I didn't want to, but I thought that's what I had to do. Do I need to give myself another glucose shot? I don't think so. I don't know how to get through this thing. Oh. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget to pop... All right, so I gotta take one before I go, and that sucks. This is, I guess this is supposed to be the introduction to him taking his joy. What's that? I hope I don't throw up. Try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you huffy wee fuck bumper! Ollie! Oh, my goodness. You're Ollie Starkey. It's Ollie Starkey! Fuck the lot of you! Jack's a collaborator and a traitor! Fuck a bloody... <laughs> Get yourself back to ah, you. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end. What you got, big guy? Oh, it's only stuck in there. Fine with that.
Okay, it's just health over time. Am I just... What do I need to take for this? Um... I can't take any more syringe uh, stuff, can I? Alright, fine, I'll find my way through here. We all get what's coming to us in the end. Can I stay on the road in case it, uh, <laughs> Maybe I should just find somewhere to sit and wait till <laughs> night time. Sorry, I had to see that. <laughs> I'm just barely my way to tell your shoulders. Bedtime story. I don't want to go that way if I can avoid it, so let's head this way. <laughs> this isn't so bad. For God, for Harry and St. George. I don't have a newspaper. It doesn't look like I can wait either. Ugh. I'm not hiding that thing, right? How long have I been recording? 22-ish minutes, okay. Yeah, let's get to at least Smith Bing's estate. Um, kill everything on the way, it seems. Are you feeling all right? Oh, fix you! Hey! Oh. You never liked me, did you? Uh, I could probably take out like a brick or something, right? Alright, can I make any? Yeah, I'm just I'm just blasting my way through. This is fun though. I'm actually having fun uh, just fighting my way through. What did I need to do? I need to craft. I need to craft uh, some medicated bomb. Thirsty again as well. Let's have a scotch, I think. You feel it all right, sir. Yeah, I feel about right. That is rather brutal. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. I'll be the fastest way there. I guess just go this way. Anyway, you can't be picky about your food. Zip. Never follow you again. Oh, that's a joy gate. That should be fine to just run through though. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. I'm about to take off this gas mask now. Try getting to Miss Big's estate again. Echo 
one right. No more. No. Oh my goodness, he blocked everything? Come on, man. Can you hurt this guy? What's going on here? Corby's no more protecting the halves from the half knots around. since 1829. I bet a skunk pass is going to be a big loss. Hold on. Oh man. Wish I found that blue Molotov. So that should settle things. In the name of the law! I could sneak in here, I guess. There's plenty of sunflowers, but why? So, Rock, take these guys out. Go to the front door. Ollie. And knock on the I door at all. Ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Help! There's a downer in my... Ah! 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 Why... Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? I don't know if I should. Oh, no, I can't. Please, there we go. Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything, just please. Give me my joy! I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Oh, 
I was to steal all your stuff, uh, Miss Bing. A sewing kit. Victoria's joy pills. A cleaver. Rotten food. A sandwich, though. It's not rotten. Some saltpeter. Some other stuff. Including a rotten mushroom. How do you get to that second door in that cabinet? It's all the way back there behind the other cabinet. So, she's got a bit of sugar, milk. Probably leads out back. I'm gonna go ahead and loot her house while I'm here. Well, I'll be taking that maid outfit. Uh, that's probably not worth doing. Oh, nah, it's probably not worth doing. They're usually not. It's a fairly nice home. It means there's nice stuff to steal. Sternly worded letter uh, to Clive. Burt Whistle from Victoria Bing. There's nothing wrong with your bloody office except for except that it's too small to hold your inflated ego. You seem to think if you do a terrible job and gossip about me, don't think I didn't hear what you said to Deirdre, I'll promote you. And frankly, Arthur's through piece is twice yours and far more accurate. Do not send this to Clive. Take another joy. Ooh, I don't think she likes him very much. Yeah, because if you remember, I think that's the guy that had a problem with Arthur at the beginning of Arthur's story. That was trying to get him fired. A happy New Year, my dear. Congratulations on your promotion to Executive Council to the Executive Committee. I feel certain this will be one of Wellington Wells' happiest years, thanks to all your hard work. Your happy face campaign has been a rousing success. I well remember when you suggested putting joy in the water, and you were right after all. I'm proud to call you my daughter. Keep up the good work. Your father, General Bing. Dictated, not read. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll read this and we'll call it an episode. And then we'll go back and talk to uh, Miss Bing. In which Oliver does the first thing that pops into his head. Oliver had never been one of those people, like ministers in the general, who could talk to anyone about anything and sound fascinated. So I ought to have guessed that his conversation with Miss Victoria was going to go badly. But it was not really his fault. The conversation went badly because Miss Victoria was off her head. Indeed, none of the regular people of Wellington Wells was in his right mind. Many of them had not seen the insides of their right minds since 1952. That was the year everyone decided that everyone had to take joy every day. Joy did not really make the Wellies happy, as far as Oliver knew. It made them forget a wee bit, and that made them a wee bit less sad. But Oliver suspected that they had not really forgotten the sad things. They were only pretending. And the thing that scared the Wellies the most was someone would not play the pretending game. Because if one person stopped playing, it was as if he had taken his ball and gone home, and no one could play the game at all anymore. When Oliver came to see Miss Victoria, oh best beloved, she did not want to hear about any sort of fake tanks. She shouted that Oliver was not playing for ten, and she attempted to run away. That made Oliver very embarrassed. He needed to talk to Miss Victoria, but if she ran away, it would be very hard to talk to her. So he did the first thing that came into his head, indeed the only thing, which was kidnapping. When Oliver was a child, he had read Robert Louis Stevenson's Kidnapped, and he had decided to grow up to be a pirate. But now he was behaving pr piratically, piratically, yeah, with an actual proper lady thrown over his shoulder, like a screaming sack of potatoes. He did not like it at all. He felt far too like he had, he had when he had lived in the village, many years ago, and the bad man began to appear on every television screen. But needs must when the devil drives. So practically, Oliver tied Miss Victoria to a chair and carried her off to be a captive in a side room of her own house. Alright, let's go talk to, uh... Well, hold on. There's another room over here. There's one over here as well. Leave my things alone, you pervert! Letter from Bing's wife. All right, uh, the Rajasthan Central Prison. My dear, darling Victoria, I'm sure your father has told you his version of why I've been sent away. Please know that I love you and never intended to leave you. I hope that someday you'll understand that I was doing my own duty, just as he does his. India cannot remain under British rule any longer. Surely even he can see that. I fear for your future if he takes you back to England. I was there for boarding school, and for all they give you your rank at, at, at table and seat you as is proper for the daughter of a Maharaja? When they look at you, they see a wog. You won't be half English. In England, you'll always be a wog, no matter how hard you work to imitate their ways. 
I'm writing to your grandfather asking him to take it, you in when your father goes back to England. He did not mean to shout at you when you called his palace backwards for not having electric fans. He was thinking about politics. Uh, please be a good girl and make up with his highness, your grandfather. I suspect that you will disregard my advice as it comes from prison. Your father must seem like the much smarter parent right now. But someday you will know all the things that I know. I hope you understand who you are and what your true duty is before it is too late. Your loving mummy. A letter from Bing's wife. Oh, man. All right. Dear Pinky, or should I call you Colonel Bing now? I'm sure you'll say that having me arrested was your duty. But duty to whom? Does not your own family command your loyalty? I thought you were different, but you like the other, like other Englishmen. How very convenient for you to be done with your Indian wife before you sail home. Once you were dazzled by my father's palace and connections, without which you might still be a junior officer. When your orders came for England, you began to see me with different, more critical eyes, didn't you? Or perhaps you found out that I had contacted a solicitor. Divorce is rather scandalous among the officers, set. Perhaps you worried it would harm your career. Oh, but now that you've made the great sacrifice of arresting your own wife, you might even get promoted to general for your patriotism. Bravo, Pinky, bravo. You English do go for that duty above all tosh. You may fool others with it, but I will always know exactly who you are. Perhaps that is the true reason you can no longer bear to meet, meet my eyes. I no longer know how to sign off on a letter to you. Neither love nor yours seems appropriate anymore. Lily. P.S. I've asked my father to take Victoria when you sail for England. Don't pretend you object. You've undoubtedly been trying to think of a face-saving reason to leave her behind. What with her being the half-Indian daughter of a revolutionary. How very inconvenient that would be for you back home. Okay, so General Bing married an Indian woman, and she ended up uh, rebelling against the Empire of Great Britain. It's an interesting way, to, or interesting place to. Uh... Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. Alright, uh, dearest V, by the time you read this, I'll be gone. Leaving you is the hardest part of what I have to do. You're right about my being off joy. The others were easy to fool, but you, of course, were always so attuned to my moods. Uh, I'm sorry you were just imagining it, but I did so to protect you. You must know by now my true feelings for you, though I suspect they are not reciprocated. Please do not come looking for me. We both know that your sense of duty is the core of your being. I will always remain your true friend, even though our paths must now diverge. Yours truly, Prue. So Prudence and Victoria had a thing, or at least Prudence liked Victoria a whole lot. Maybe Victoria didn't feel the same way. Who knows? But, uh, it's, um... Let's probably craft some more of these while I'm thinking about it. Let's make some jerky, too. New glucose syringes. This would be handy. Well, let's get ten of these. And one more. Coming down! I'm gonna let this episode go a little bit longer. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry. I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. They already checked the letter. Fine. Fine. She doesn't like him. Get back to work. Dear Mr. Birthwhistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work, and less time pondering where you do it? That sounds like her, all right. Did 
Okay, uh, I guess I just send it back. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer this. it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! There you go. Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the executive committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'm going to throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yoghurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Uh, I should have everything I need in my... There we go. Oh, and what do I have here? Which Oliver makes yogurt. Alright, in which Vi Miss Victoria weeps for joy. Our hero was not very experienced in the way of crying women. Indeed, oh best beloved, he had once married, only to find that his beloved wife cried every night, for reasons he could never fathom, and so it had been a brief marriage. So he did not know how to talk to Miss Victoria, for she would not stop crying, for she wanted nothing in the world so much as her pills of joy. And Oliver could not give them to her, not if he wanted to have that talk. He's going to have to keep her kidnapped for a bit longer, and that meant he would have to feed her, and she would only eat coffee yogurt. Unfortunately, you could no longer buy any kind of milk in Wellington Wells. All the cows of Wellington Wells had been eaten during the lean years. Still, such a thing as powdered milk existed. And where was powdered milk? There, was, there could be yogurt. Oliver was neither a cook nor a chemist, but he was an expert scrounger. He had found water in the Kalahari Desert, and he had found a pineapple in a trek across the highlands, and he had found a decent English pub in Antwerp. He had faith that if he tried, he could find milk and coffee and keep Miss Victoria fed. Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you better give her that yogurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that 
will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Thanks. Get away! Thanks, Margaret. You're, you're the real hero so here. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Alright, now we're gonna call the episode here, and in the next episode we'll continue our uh, kidnapping spree. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and hope to catch y'all in the next episode.